Hi, my name is Dr. Mary Beth Whitcomb, and I am the section head of the Large Animal Ultrasound Service at UC Davis. And I'm joined here today with our ultrasound fellow, Dr. Georgette Shields, our ultrasound technician, Haley Robinson, and then also Dr. Betsy Vaughn, who's functioning as our videographer. And I'm going to talk about how to hold the transducer when you're scanning palmar or plantar structures of the metacarpus or metatarsus. The first thing is if you're using a standoff, you want to make sure that you put some gel between the standoff and the transducer, but not too much because you don't want the gel to come oozing out and make it real slippery to hold on to those two or the, the transducer. Then when I hold the transducer, notice that I'm grabbing it with three fingers around the narrowest part of the transducer. And then as I hold the standoff, and, and this would be the same if I wasn't using the standoff, I lay my thumb on the lateral side of the uh, standoff, and my index finger is laying across the top of the standoff. And notice that I'm not pulling that standoff back onto the transducer. I'm just merely going to guide it and hold it in place. So then when I put the transducer on the horse's leg, let's see if we can get step back. Step, okay, whoops. All right, we'll go ahead, and, um, and this is how I'm going to hold it. And again, I'm not pulling the standoff back onto the transducer, and I'm allowing my index finger to maintain contact with them. And it's especially important, he's waking up a little bit, I don't want to get stepped on, I want to know that he's either going to step forward, he's leaning, and so on. So I have that contact, even though I'm looking at the camera right now, or I would be looking at the uh, ultrasound screen. Then when I go to do a longitudinal view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my hand in space the same. I'm going to rotate the transducer so that my thumb is again on the lateral aspect of the transducer and my index finger extends out. And again, that index finger is key to really help stabilize my hand so that I don't fall off of the structures that I'm scanning. And then when I go ahead and scan, again, I'm just going to push that transducer into the horse's leg. My thumb is not necessarily touching the horse, that's okay, it's just laying on the side of the standoff, and my index finger is in, in solid contact with the horse's leg. So that way when I scan down the leg, I can use that finger to guide me as I uh, scan down the leg. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to film another video later showing how to hold the transducer when you're scanning the medial and lateral suspensory branches because we hold the probe a little bit different that way. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon.